East Tennesseans today, making sure our veterans are never forgotten. A group coming together at the East Tennessee Veterans Memorial in World's Fair Park to read off more than 6,000 names. Our Jared Austin joins us in studio tonight. Jared, several volunteers were there early this morning setting up during the storms to make sure they honored our veterans. Yeah, very emotional day all around from early this morning through the afternoon as some remember friends, family, and other East Tennessee service members. Now there's some new names on the wall for us to honor. Eric Pfeiffer, Christopher T. Fox. This is hollow ground. This is a very special place. William J. Roberts. The American Legion, veterans, volunteers, and East Tennesseans spending hours at the memorial today to read off more than 6,000 names here. John H. Burgess Jr. When you get to the point where your name is no longer spoken, then you're forgotten, and that's not going to happen on our watch. For Testerman, some of his friends are on the wall. You go back and relive the stories, the fun times, the crazy times, you know, things that you've done, and then how you felt that day that you, you knew that they were going to be on that wall. Veterans saying today means more than a three-day weekend, but a reminder of their past. Some of the people I was shoulder to shoulder with in battle in Vietnam, they didn't make it at all. They're not here at all, so I'm always in memory of them because I gave some, but they gave it all. Four more names now added to the wall. Specialist Jeremy D. Evans. Including Gibbs grad and U.S. Army soldier Jeremy Evans. A service member giving his wife a white rose. Evans was killed after a transport vehicle flipped last year. Very emotional moment, and especially it's a little bit of closure for that family to see and, you know, seeing that their name is read and to know that it, it will be immortalized, uh, immortalized on the wall. Making sure all veterans' names live on forever. Now, the Veterans Memorial honors those from World War I all the way to current military conflicts, guys. Veterans I spoke with also tell us that they want everybody to remember this today. Think about the freedoms you have and all those who paid the ultimate price so we can celebrate the holiday today. Good reminder. Appreciate it, Jared.